Hey YouTubians, I'm Gary with VW Jawbreaker. I want to welcome you to the channel. Today we have a little special something going on. I had a company reach out to me called Avalon King. And what they have is they have a really cool product called Armor Shield that's a DIY ceramic coat kit that you can apply yourself at your house and protect your vehicle. So let's go in the garage real quick and check out this kit and see what it all comes with. Right, let's go ahead and open up the box here, again from Armor Shield, and see what's in it. It's supposed to be a pretty simple DIY kit. So there we go. Our box. Apply, smile, enjoy. Thank you for your purchase. And this must be the Armor Shield product itself. Really cool metal bottle. And there's supposed to be some, uh, here we go, microfiber cloths and an applicator pad. Pretty simple. Really nice quality microfiber cloth too. And the applicator pad has got like a real soft sponge on one side and kind of hard on the sides. So this is definitely the side you grip and then you, I guess you apply the product to the soft side. Well, let's see what it does. All right, we're going to start on the back fender here. So I have a clean microfiber cloth that I provided along with some rubbing alcohol. The car is clean, it's been washed. So what we're going to do, we're going to pour some on the rag. We'll go ahead and wipe down all the paint really well just to make sure we have all contaminants off of the paint. Flip it over. Do the same thing, just make sure it's good and dry. Now we're gonna take the Armor Shield and applicator pad. And this side again is really smooth, really soft. We're gonna go ahead and put a couple drops Oh, it's got like a little plug on the end. Look at that. Nice. Put a couple drops. And this one bottle should do the entire car, from what they said. So there we go. I don't know if you can see the drops on there. I have a feeling that may not be, may not be wet enough. If you want to Soak this down a little bit. Maybe we should try spreading it out first. There we go. That sounds better. Basically, you go one way, then go another way. That way, you get a nice, even coat. Add a few more drops. Go back the other way. All right. Now here's the easy part. Follow the directions, but basically we need to buff it out. And depending on the temperature, depends on how long you should let it sit. For us, it won't be too long. It's pretty warm out today. It's in the 80s, so it should only need to sit a couple minutes, and then we can buff it out. So the key is to work in a small section. So that's why 
I've started with just a fender. We'll take the clean microfiber cloth that they provide. Let's go ahead and buff it real nice. Man, that's a nice shine. That is a nice shine. There we go. That was pretty uh, painless. All right, here's the interesting part. These were identical before. This has a nicer, deeper shine to it than that that has not been done. Look at that. See some nice reflection in it? Ooh, man. Can't wait to get the whole car done. And these were the same. Hmm. Time to get to work. Do the rest of the car. I don't know if this is actually picking up on camera or not. There's actually a nicer shine. Deeper, glossier shine. Look at that. This side's treated, this side's not. It's a little richer, a little shinier. Man, what a difference. This side is not done yet. See, there's a decent shine. Go back over here, though. That's nice. All right, so what I need to do now is do the roof and do the other side of the car. I'll spare you those details. All right, so it's quite hot in Florida, and we just finished applying the armor shield and buffing it off. The only issue I had was the applicator pad came apart. And I also missed the uh, gloves that come in the kit. I ended up putting a pair on about a quarter of the way through when I realized that. But after you polish it up, wipe it down, you're supposed to back it out in the sun for four to five hours and let it sit. I guess that helps it cure. Man, I can tell you what, that is some shine that looks nice. Looks real nice. You can see on the side doors there, I haven't done anything. I haven't wet sanded, didn't buff. I did wash when I washed the car. I did not apply the armor shield there. And there's a reason. Roof looks good, sides look good. Fenders look amazing. Hood, wow. Hood looks great. So next, We'll do a little experiment. That's right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put this thing through its paces and go ahead and spill some different whatnots on it. We'll run some water over it, some muddy water. We'll pour different stuff on the car and see how well the armor shield actually repels. So stay tuned for the next video. And until the next time, you guys be good.